Greetings, and welcome to Art Adventures, our journey through the world's greatest artwork. We're going back in time to the Baroque era today to examine the life and compositions of the illustrious Gian Lorenzo Granini. Buckle up as we explore the enthralling Cornaro Chapel and the lively Piazza Nuovo, uncovering the mystery behind his works of art. Now, before we get started, here's a quick little Baroque era inspired joke for you. What era is a college student in? The Baroque era. <laughs> Gian Lorenzo Bernini was a brilliant painter, sculptor, and architect from Naples who was born in 1598. He rose to prominence in Rome, transforming the city's landscape with his unique style and unrivaled talent. Bernini did more than just sculpt, he created experiences that went beyond time, capturing the essence of human emotion and divine beauty in his works. Now. Let us begin our journey at Rome's St. Maria della Vittoria Church, where the breathtaking Cornaro Chapel awaits. This chapel, commissioned by Cardinal Felicio Cornaro, is a masterpiece of Baroque art. At its heart is Bernini's Ecstasy of St. Teresa. A sculptor depicting the saint's mystical experience, you can almost feel the divine in this vivid scene because of Bernini's deft use of light and shadow and his deft sculpting presence. The Cornaro Chapel is more than just a place of worship. It exemplifies Bernini's genius and innovation. The way that illusionistic and real-world elements coexist, as in the case of the marble clouds and concealed lighting, enthralls everyone with its air of drama and mystery. It's no surprise that the chapel is regarded as one of Rome's most important works of art, attracting visitors from all over the world to admire its beauty. Now, let's head on over to the bustling Piazza Navona, where Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers steals the show. This fountain, commissioned by Pope Innocent X, celebrates the world's greatest rivers. Each figure depicts a river from a different continent, symbolizing global unity. Bernini's skill and vision are evident in the design of the fountain, which features figures supporting an ancient Egyptian obelisk topped by a dove. The Piazza Navona is a lively square with a lengthy past. It was originally the site of Domitane's stadium before becoming a public space in the 15th century. It is now a thriving hub of activity with street performers, artists, and cafes, making it a popular destination for both tourists and locals. The artistry of Gian Lorenzo Bernini, as well as the beauty of the Coronado Chapel and Piazza Navona, remind us the power of art to inspire and uplift. Bernini's works continue to captivate audiences by allowing us to see the world through the eyes of master artists. Now we take a break from our regularly scheduled programming. Now it's time for a Bernini-inspired dad joke. Why did the sculptor go bankrupt? Because he took too much for granted. That's all for today's Art Adventures. Join us next time as we explore more wonders of the art world. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing and leaving a review. Your support keeps the art world alive and thriving. See you next time. Ciao. Buena giornata.